Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley, and even though Pride Parades have been canceled and this year is like the fucking worst, we will not not be feeling glamorous. Now I am a Drag Race super fan, I've been watching for years, and I have been lucky enough to collaborate with some of the queens that have been on the show. I've been transformed by Kim Chi, Nina West, Miss Fame, Trixie Mattel, Monet Exchange, but today we are collaborating with one of my favorite queens of the season. I was like, okay, the quarantine is not stopping me from doing a video with her. I am so excited to Today we are doing a little drag makeover over Zoom with the one and only Heidi in closet, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm alive. How are you? I'm living my best life in quarantine. I'm excited for today too. I decided to actually wear clothes for once when I'm doing makeup. Wow. Usually I wear a muumu when I paint, but I was like, <laughs> let's do on something else other than that. Listen, I would gladly get a muumu for you. I have three, so. No need to brag. Every year, one of my favorite videos that I do is a video with one of my favorite queens of the season. I am such a fan of drag race and drag in general. And when I was watching this season, and I was like, I just hope I can make a video with you. I, I was so happy it worked out. I'm so happy we're here today. So thank you for taking the time. Of course, thank you for having me. Do you remember? Bitch, yes, met? I remember whatever you're about to say. Are you about to say the food court in, in Vegas? Yes, the food court in Vegas at Drag Race Live. <laughs> we'll get to that, we'll get to that. We, I feel like we should get started. So I was safe. You were safe. I put on a face mask, I went to CVS, I took your shopping list of all the makeup to get. And I think I got things that you told me, but I'm a little nervous. To be honest. Don't be nervous. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be an experience. I'm with a true glamour girl, a pageant queen. Comedy Surprisingly, queen. no one's picked me as a pageant queen, but I am. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Well, today, hopefully, I can become one too. You can do it. I believe in you. So, what do we need first? You're okay. in charge. You take me through the journey. So, first things first is you're gonna get your alcohol swab. Do I even have one of those? <laughs> the first thing I need. We have everything. First thing up. <laughs> Listen, I don't think that was on the list. <laughs> Do you I have, have alcohol of any kind? Yeah. Well, not drinking alcohol. I have like rubbing alcohol. Okay, so you got your little swab of swab. You're gonna just rub it into your brow. And once you have that. You shave off your brows. I should, should but. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> have you ever shaved your eyebrows off? No, I like my boy brows too much. You don't want to experience the jantasy? <laughs> she made it for her own, so now you're gonna grab your glue stick. Got that. You're gonna really get up in there. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna just take your, your comb, press down and push upwards to make it all flat, like me before I put on my bra. Sure. You were kind of hinting at it earlier, but we do go back. Before I ever fell in love with you on the show, I ran into you. And who else were you with? Was it, it was Crystal? me and Crystal? Right. Because me and Crystal had to get up that morning because we were on the news together in <laughs> Vegas. So we had to get up in high whore drag at like seven o'clock in the morning to go over to the news station. High whore. And then we came back and went to the food court. But I remember someone walked up and we started chatting and you know, it was you. <laughs> yeah. Me and my friend Raymond were in town to go to the premiere of RuPaul's Drag Race Live. And I see two queens in full drag makeup. And I said, oh, this is not a coincidence. Who are these queens? And I walked over and it was right after the announcement of the cast had come out. And I was like, oh my God. I was immediately drawn to your personality. Oh, thank you. Where's my blow dryer? It's not one professional, Heidi. I feel like a woman. Already? I don't know what it is, but when that first piece of glue just hits that face, you just transform. That's the piece for you? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. Just go straight up applying the glue. Come on, tutorial. I had spoke. <laughs> Y'all can't take it, honey. I had spoke on y'all right there, honey. And then the last one, is it true you lick it? Lick what? The glue. <laughs> no, you don't lick the glue. I have seen queens for the last one lick it and then go up again. That's interesting. Okay. And then I did. I got a little bit of chunks on me. This is an experience. <laughs> I'm beautiful. <laughs> you are Tyler. Thank and you. don't let anyone ever tell that you two are. That's weird because nobody ever did. So I don't know why you're saying that. In between the third and fourth layer, I do a little trick. I take a translucent powder. It smells like my grandmother, because that's the makeup she would put on for Sunday church service. I've heard of church. And then you're gonna like press it up into that brow. Really pat it in there and like feel oh. in the... Just the brow, just the brow. I guess I need to aim. <laughs> you're gorgeous. <laughs> okay, there's a few chunks, but it, you know, it's fine. <laughs> you saw me on the show. <laughs> 
Well, the next step that I do is you go back to that glue. We're gonna lick it. Yeah, you, 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 did you say lick it? We're gonna lick it before you stick it. I told you. You acted like that's not a thing. <laughs> or are you only doing it because I said it? I'm only doing it because you said it. So Heidi, tell us about how you got into drag. My first experience with a drag queen was watching the show. Really? Way back on season one, yeah. And then also I went to my eldest sibling's birthday at a club when I had just turned 18 and saw my first live drag show. And I was like, ooh, that looks so much fun. I wanna do it. What was the first time you ever attempted any type of drag? Oh goodness, uh, on the show. It was, <laughs> no, <laughs> the first time I had tried it was in my bathroom. I had just got a wig. And from then on out, it was happening. It was something. When was the first time you went by Heidi? I went to do my first drag show. I went in and I didn't have a name and they asked me, hey, what's your name? And I was like, so Heidi was the person that came to my mind because it was a joke from me and my friends leading up to that point. Huh. Because a lot of closeted men would try to talk to me and stuff. I'm like, there's no need to be hiding in the closet. I get that. And my friend was like, that would be a cute drag name. Mm -hmm. And then that was the person that came to my mind when they asked. I was like, okay. And then it stuck five years later, even though Rue Paul wanted me to change it so bad. Can we talk about that? What is with Rue hating your name? How did you feel when that happened? It's the worst names on the show. I thought it was fun game though. I thought it was a fun little game. Uh-huh. Now get your sponge. Is it wet? <laughs> Always. From the moment you were hiding in closet, you were hiding in closet. You never changed it and you're still not changing it, correct? As of now, no. I'm not changing it. It's, I am glad. I get a lot of messages from fans be like, maybe you should change it to something to just make it flow a little bit. I'm just like, or I can just leave it like it is. You can be yourself and they can change their own name. Oh God. If Rue ever told me to change my name, I'd say, well, Rue, have you considered makeup at the reunion? <laughs> Thank you, Rue. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, okay, so we're blended or something. This is my makeup if they ever ask me back for an all-star season right here, that's it. And a red lip, done. You've watched Drag Race from the beginning. When was the first season you applied? 12. 12. You're the first time you applied you got on the show. Yeah, and I actually auditioned at the last minute too, because I wasn't going to this year. What was stopping you from auditioning? I didn't think I was ready. I was scrolling online. I saw this one queen from back home. She posted that she was auditioning. What her quote was, it's time, so my thought was, well, clearly it's not her time because she just posted that she's auditioning. So maybe it's my time. So then I said, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, a sign from God. It is time, but not for her. Not hers, but mine. Yeah, it is time. I haven't told her that yet. <laughs> well, now she knows. Is season 13 her time? So you're from where? I am originally from Remsor, North Carolina. Uh-huh, what's the drag scene there? There's not. You're like, you're like, looking at it. I'm right here, damn it. I think that's something. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna have some bushy brows. I'm here for it though. That was actually a little better. Minus that one line. What's that up to? We have a step coming up that will fix all your problems. Thank you, so that's all I want. So when you first started, what did drag mean to you? I originally, I wanted to be a professional dancer. And um, unfortunately, I had to uh, get a job and help take care of my family instead of pursuing my career in dance that I wanted to. So drag at first for me was a way to live out my dream. And now it is my dream come true. So, you know. Is that something? <laughs> She hates it. Be salvageable, okay? <laughs> Listen, I am trying. Was there a certain type of aspect of Drag Race that you were intimidated by going into it that surprised you that you could do? Oh God, comedy. That is wild to me. You are so naturally just like charismatic and funny. The thing is before the show, I had never done anything comedy related. So to go into it and find out that I have such a natural funny bone is shocking to me. I'm like, oh wow, I guess I am, cool. When you got the call that you were gonna be on season 12, tell me about that moment. I was literally at my house. Mm -hmm. I was alone. They call, they're like, hey, is this Heidi and Claus? I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're like, congratulations, you've been cast on RuPaul's Drag Race season 12. I literally threw the phone in one direction and then I ran <laughs> in the opposite direction. I feel like that is a very appropriate response. Yeah, and then I went and jumped on the bed for like five minutes. I'm like, ah! And I was like, maybe I should go back to the phone and hear the rest of the conversation. <laughs> I love that. Well, I just finished my brow and now that, See, I messed up too a little bit. Oh, well, I didn't mess up, so that's weird. You didn't. Did you need some tips or tricks? Yes, I'd appreciate it. I think I'm kind of doing something right now. It's coming along. You look like a woman. <laughs> Thank you. But you feel like a woman is the question. Always. Just try to get a smooth application. Well, yeah, obviously that's what I got. That's the key of being soft and supple. Where did the S's come from? The 
Gap. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> You're like, at my time working at the Gap. It was he. But um, me and my drag sister, we talk nonsense to each other half the time. Yeah. And it was just something that we did. It just kind of translated over to things that I did on set. Too. So you're there in the workroom, you see all the queens. Were there any familiar faces? Was there anybody that you knew ahead of time? No, I didn't know anybody. I walked in and I was all boss. That's almost better though, because then you like are equal in your mind. You don't know what they are capable of. No friendships I have to worry about or cry about. Did you cry much on the show? I didn't cry as much as some of the other girls did. Ah! <laughs> Who was the biggest crier? Oh God, Jackie cried a lot. Rock cried a lot. Jan had that one moment of just complete breakdown. Who are some of your favorite queens? before you ever were on the show, like who did you love to watch? Alyssa Edwards. Legend. Uh, Juju B. Yes. Jay kool -Aid. Oh my God, I'm so ready for All Stars. You know, I'm happy that she's on All Stars 5 because if they ever call me back for All Stars and I was to walk in and Shay kool was there, I would just keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go to eyeshadow. We're gonna do the quintessential Heidi eye. It's really simple, really easy. Just start packing it in there. Pack it in there, like go off. Don't be afraid of it. Yes. Now we're cooking with grease. Grease lightning. <laughs> Cause you're a lady, you wanna double tap. Circular motion. Cause she's a woman of great distinction. Well, obviously. Who are some queens that you love that you think deserve to go on the show? There's this one queen here in North Carolina. Her name is Aria Russo. I think she is a lovely, lovely, lovely representation of what North Carolina drag is. A girl named Demi Sexton. And then this one queen that I met out in LA, she is a hoot, a nut, completely crazy. Her name is Cornbread Jate. Cornbread. We're creating a crease now. Most eyes I use, I use black, but this is a more softer, sensual mm. eye that I do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cut it with purple instead. Ooh. <laughs> what are you looking at? Why do you look like that? I'm just looking, I'm just looking. Was it weird to watch yourself on Drag Race? You never know what they're gonna air. It's nerve wracking at first. I was just very happy and laughing along the whole time. Like it was so hilarious. I thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm happy that so many people got to experience it and I've gotten so many messages from people saying how I've touched them with my story and it just means the world. <laughs> I look like a dog that got into your makeup. But don't we all? What you order online versus what you get online. Who else from your season deserves a spot on an all-star season? I would love to see Rock. Especially with her leaving so early, I feel like she has so much to show. She's a nut. Oh, the, oh my God, I just saw myself in the mirror. <laughs> Drag is not meant to be seen up close. Or in the daylight. Yeah, well, we're doing both right now. Oh my God, I look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> now, ma'am, this feels like sabotage. No, it's not. I am literally telling you what to do. Are you? Yes. Because look. There is a gap in skill level. There's a gap. See, look, Heidi at the end of the season, mm. Heidi at the beginning of the season. Who did you grow closest with on the show? Surprisingly, I grew really close with Jada, especially after like how we first met. We definitely have like a big sister, little sister vibe. Clearly she's the big sister, because she's old. <laughs> and I'm the young, gorgeous, talented sister. When I was on the show, Untucked, I was really looking forward to until I realized we were the bottom and like it was not like But Untucked is with some of my favorite content, including you had a really special moment. You, 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 and you. Was it real when you were screaming fuck you at everyone? Or what was the going on? That was so real. <laughs> really? It's funny because like even in that moment, you come across like nice and giggly and fun. I, I didn't realize that was coming from a sincere place. You only get to see like a couple minutes cuts worth and that conversation was getting nowhere fast. I just felt like it needed to be said. It's time to move down to foundations. Okay. You've been doing drag for a while. What do you think the biggest misconception people have about drag is? Some people in my family thought I just did it for fun and they thought I was just dressing up because I wanted to be a woman. I was like, no, that's not it. I love who I am as a person. Some people do find themselves when they do drag. I just enjoy entertaining crowds. And this has been a career path that I've chosen to take. I'm feeling the fantasy. You're starting to feel it now? Yeah. That's yeah. It's coming out now. Oh, honey. You're going to come up here and do a good old circle. <laughs> so you've watched Drag Race since the first season. How do you think Drag Race has changed drag? I think it has really pushed the boundaries of what people try in drag. Totally. I feel like it's really opened up 
a lot of people's minds to what drag can be and what it is. So I think it's had a lot of positive light shining onto drag as a whole. Now this is the section that I don't know if it is going to translate on you. Yeah. Take your darker foundation, take it across your forehead and just dab. It's called the beige rainbow. Uh oh, where did that come from? It's art. Art pop. Just for art pop. Oh, yes. <laughs> Speaking my language. I do look a little bit moist. Which is the end goal. Oh, well then there you go, soft and supple. And now that that is done, it's time to move on to powders. Huh, damn. Is that a shimmer highlighter powder? It's definitely got a sparkle to it. Is that okay? Is that disgusting? What's wrong with that? I think you're doing too much. <laughs> I'm doing too much, girl. <laughs> All you did was just make me look greasy. I didn't do that to you. The sabotage continues. It is not sabotage. Now, I don't know if you have this, but I have a card that I use to help cut my cheek. You just want a straight edge and blend upwards. Upwards. I feel as if I'm kind of coming together. You gotta look crazy before you look stunning. My life story. I wasn't gonna say it, but yes. Now, how long had you been doing makeup before you feel like you were good at it? <laughs> About Four and a half years and 11 episodes of Drag Race. Okay. <laughs> because that's where I'm at right now. You're going to really chisel down that jawline. See how it just disappears? It just leaves. Bye. Ooh. Oh, that's really some type of fantasy. She's popping. Yeah. I just drooled. <laughs> just from looking at me, I get it. She's starting to have dimension in her face. Or as my grandma likes to say, dementia. A little bit of dementia. My grandmother literally tries to say dimension and she says dementia. I'm like, Girl, that is not the word. Please don't say that out in public. Well, epiphany. Let's not begin. Day day. We can move on to contouring our nose and really start creating that shape that you want. You see that nose, Tyler? Yeah, I see that. That looks incredible. Why isn't mine doing that? Where did your nose go? <laughs> they nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And now we're moving on to brows. Why do my brows look so terrible right now? Does that look right? Trust me, trust me. Have I ever stirred you wrong before? Well, baby, look at me. Has my makeup ever looked busted. Look over there! Ah! Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> what, what? I think you sabotaged me from the get-go with these eyebrows. Lies, you drew those eyebrows on yourself. Don't worry, I fixed it. If you saw me at a hotel bar. I would run. Run right up to me? No, away. Oh. We're going back to your favorite part, the eyes. Yes. That liner looks good. <laughs> yeah. So I know some queens, their drag persona is like maybe more exaggerated or more over the top, or maybe it's a different character. Where's the line for who you really are and who you are in drag? The thing is, some people create a character for when they're in drag, which I think is fabulous. I'm kind of the same person in and out of drag. Literally, Heidi is just a dressed up version of Trevin. We are going to do our lip really fast. I usually just overdraw my lip just a little bit, but you might have to overdraw a little more. Bitch. What? <laughs> and you are going to give yourself a beauty mark. Ah, how fun. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That way, right when you smile, it pops. It pops. Okay. That's it. Ah! That's it. All right. And now all we need is lashes and we're done. You see this, Tyler? This is what a woman like, Tyler. Have you ever seen so something so soft and supple? No. Oh, wow, look at that. I about glued my eye closed. This is literally my life. It is a journey you take your face through. We do it for you. And you! Let me stop. What is that? That was a quote from Jackie's infomercial. It's something we joke about all the time. So right from the get-go, I fell in love with you because your entrance... Can you take me through what that was? You talk about my mating call? Yes! <laughs> It's just something that I do as a ritual right before I'm about to get it on. It doesn't work most of the time. I was gonna say, do you really? Nah, I literally sit around sometimes and just see what weird noises I can make. <laughs> And that was one of them. Lily, if you ask people around North Carolina that know me, they know that's my main call. They already, like before the show, they knew it. So I literally just brought to the show stuff that I did before the show. When that aired and we were watching it in my living room, we all screamed. Can you give us some, an example of the mating call right now? Okay. My vocal cords. <laughs> oh, and there's one last step. You take a bath. <laughs> Wash it off. I call that when I put my setting spray because I use so much setting spray when I do my makeup. And you just. Oh, am I supposed to close my eyes? <laughs> you look moist now. Look at all those highlights now popping. Heidi. Woman. <laughs> Full on. Oh, you look incredible. I just stepped off Rodeo Drive. Into what? Traffic? <laughs> 
I feel like I need a name that goes with Heidi in closet. Something in closet to be part of the in closet family. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Sally Vate in closet. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, Heidi, what is my official drag name in your family? I think Sally Vate in closet is the ticket. Oh! Yeah, and so yeah. you make their mouth water. That is a worse name than Heidi in closet. You want that to be my legacy? I do want someone to be on a show that name is more hated than mine. Y'all let us know what it should be. Or if you have a suggestion, let me know in the comments below. Well, Heidi, thank you for taking the time to hang out today and do my makeup. Sorry if I messed any of it up, but clearly I didn't. I mean, you look flawless. You look better than me. I'm glad you said it and I didn't. Too. That's so sweet. <laughs> I said of season 12, episode one, you look better than me then. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Well, everyone at home, if you want to find more of Heidi, where can people find you? You can find me on social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Heidi in Closet. You can also find me on TikTok at The Heidi in Closet. And if you would like some Heidi in Closet merch, head over to TheHeidiInCloset.com. As a final goodbye to everyone at home, do you mind giving us one more mating call? I love it because it's so loud. Zoom thinks it's like an airplane going by or something. <laughs> In all sincerity, please stay safe and healthy and hopefully I get to see you soon. Okay, have a good life, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.